Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. It's available on Xbox Game Pass and on PlayStation, and there are a total of 34 collectibles I'll be taking you through. There are three achievements or trophies that are related to them, so let's just get started. Obviously, I'll have time links available in the YouTube description. There's an ongoing counter in the top right corner and the information about the collectible in the bottom left corner. Episode 1, after you leave this office, interact with the door to let go of your first cameo. You'll then end up at the news station recording area. After you take out the enemies, watch out for the lights that will fall down from above and interact with the box to find the classic headline. We then move on to episode two near the beginning. You'll come to the sushi store, then the TV store and interact with the garbage nearby to find classic headline number two. From the previous collectible, we can find our next cameo by walking forward and attacking the door at the top of the screen. You'll then come down a vertical path that leads to kind of the bottom of the screen. There will be a garage with a pizza, but if we continue forward, watch out for the car. Inside of the mailbox, we can find our first secret diary. We then skip episode three as it has no collectibles and move on to episode four near the beginning. Watch out for the enemies. After the enemies though, pass the fire hydrant at the top of the screen, get secret diary number two. From the secret diary collectible near the beginning of the level, walk forward and interact with the mailboxes to find our third cameo. You'll then proceed a little bit further into the zoo. There will be a bunch of like rhinos and tigers that escape and try to run you over. You'll get to the monkeys. There's a garbage near the top of the screen and here we can find our first disgusting bug. Continuing forward past the monkeys, just keep moving and near the corner of the screen here, you'll get attacked by these three enemies, but inside of this kind of paper stand, you can find our third classic headline. We're now near the beginning of episode five. As you move forward, stay near the top of the screen and attack this pamphlet stand. And behind that, we can find our next secret diary. You'll then end up at the sewers. As you walk forward, you'll drop down. There will be a large vault at the back of the screen. Attack the vault to find our next cameo. A little bit past the cameo we just grabbed will end up near these two kind of uh, steam vents. A couple of enemies will attack us, but in the corner we can find our second disgusting bug. Moving on to episode six near the very beginning, you'll attack this brick wall to get through and immediately next to it in the garbage, you can find secret diary number four. A little bit later on in episode six, you'll end up at the clothing store. There are two collectibles here. Attack the garbages near the middle to get the VHS tape and attack the turtle cutout to get Napoleon. A little bit later on, you'll ride up an escalator, take out some enemies and end up at the arcade. Attack the popcorn machine as you enter to unlock Vernon. Just past Vernon, you'll end up at the kind of cash register area and you can attack another popcorn machine here before exiting the level in order to find the next disgusting bug. Episode seven, near the beginning, you will attack this red toolbox near the top of the screen before crossing over the wooden bridge. A decent chunk later into episode seven, you'll cross and you'll be able to take an upper or lower path here and you'll be attacked by some white enemies. Go near the top, interact with the toolbox to find the VHS tape. Just a little bit after the last collectible, you'll move forward. There will be a big red toolbox and a smaller one near the top of the screen. Here you can find a bug and a pizza before moving on to the end of the level. Episode nine, near the beginning of the episode, walk forward onto the boardwalk, st stay near the top of the screen, past the two red enemies and attack the hot dog cart. Inside of the hot dog cart, you can find the next cameo. A little bit later on, you'll end up near some of the games like the ring toss and the ball toss. And in the corner here, you can find the next collectible. Moving on to episode 10, somewhat near the beginning, watch out for the blue car. Next to the blue car is a garbage with the next bug. A little bit later on, you'll transfer from an indoor area to an outdoor area, move up and attack the box behind this TV to find the next VHS tape. 
Moving on to episode 11, near the very beginning of the episode, you'll attack a couple of enemies. Just after that, you'll walk forward, dodge the stampede, and then attack the pamphlet stand near the top of the screen for the next VHS tape. You'll then end up fighting a bunch of enemies at this area. After you take them out, you'll have to proceed forward and you'll want to jump on the stage and interact with the box to find the bug. Just after the last collectible, you'll start walking down the screen. You'll get attacked by two green dinos. Take them out and open up the box to find your first crystal shard of the game. You'll also unlock an achievement or trophy for having five unique collectible types. Later on in episode 11, you'll come by these two kind of broken windows. Assuming you've had a fight here and near the top of the screen, we can find our eighth cameo. We move on to episode 12. This is a little bit already into the level and you'll come by these arms that kind of try to freeze you and behind them find your last bug. You will then continue forward and you should see this background here. You walk past and these two rock enemies come down and just behind them, you'll find a VHS tape. After the last collectible, walk forward and you'll have to attack this kind of uh, circular object in the back of the room to reveal our ninth cameo. Now episode 13 has a little bit of a boss battle in the middle of the level. So after that happens, you'll come to this area, jump across the gap after the lasers and crystal shard number two will be in this box right here. Episode number 14, you'll attack some rock enemies and then we will walk forward near the top of the screen. There's this kind of plant where we can find our 10th and final cameo, unlocking an achievement or trophy. In episode 15, we do have our final collectible, although it won't unlock the achievement or trophy right away. You'll reach this spiky area. A couple of enemies will come out the door and in this box right here, you can find crystal shard number three. There's one final step. The final step is to go to the world map and visit all of the cameos that are available on the map. Here you will actually deliver the collectibles that we've been collecting, which includes things like the diaries, the headlines, the shards, the bugs, and the VHS tapes. And once you deliver all of them and complete all of these side objectives for extra points, you'll also unlock the multitasker achievement slash trophy. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Drop a like, share it with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.